Extreme Trends presents, a toddler tries so hard to unlock his dad's iPad that it ends up locked for over 47 years, before we begin do us a favor and hit that like button be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. If you are a parent of young children, you'll understand how hard it can be to stop your little ones from playing with your iPad or iPhone, it's a very different world than it was just a few years ago. While previous generations could dream about some of the things scientists provided us, these thin GS are available to us now, kids today have access to things like iPads and modern laptops, technology has run rampant and interactivity is everywhere, children particularly have embraced the electronic products now on offer and are becoming comfortable with digital interactivity. Can used devices be used for more than entertainment? Can iPads and iPhones be used as a tool for education? That is why if you have a kid and want to restrict access, the result is simple, lock it up with a passcode. That usually works, unless you have a particularly determined toddler. This is what happened to Evan Osnos and he shared the entire unbelievable story on Twitter. Evan Osnos is a staff writer of The New Yorker. He's based on Washington, D.C. on where he lives with his three-year-old. It was last April when Evan was a bit busy working on something, until he decided to look at his son who is too quiet and busy as well, only to find out that Evan's three-year-old child tried to unlock his iPad, many, many times. Apparently, usually, people would give up after a few tries since they don't want their devices to end up locked out for too long. Clearly, Evan's toddler wasn't giving up because when Evan picked up his iPad, the screen reported that it was disabled for precisely 25,536,442 minutes and that is 48 Y. He is to be exact. Gradually, every iPad and iPhone automatically disables after several incorrect passcodes, it starts at 1 minute and then increases to 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 60 minutes and so on. In other words, Osnos would have to wait 25 million minutes or 48.58 years, somewhere in 2067, nearly. Half a century later in order to access his iPad again, thinking of the best possible solution to solve the problem, the father Evan Osnos took the Twitter to post a screenshot of his iPad asking for advice. He tweeted, ah, this looks fake, but alas, it's our iPad today after my three-year-old repeatedly tried to unlock it, ideas. Unfortunately a handful of Twitter users responded to Osnos's plague, they came forward to offer him some helpful and not so helpful ideas. People on Twitter cannot believe Evan's situation, one person recommended that he reboot his three-year-old which is a little drastic and common one, some users speculated about how the toddler managed to get himself into the situation which honestly we'd love to know as well. People have all kinds of opinions for Evan, including time traveling to the year where the iPad is finally unlocked, or putting it in the bag of rice, that fixes like everything, right? As for LifeWire, this isn't actually delete the real amount of time you need to wait. That message just represents a really really long time, it's designed to get you to take a break from entering passcodes, admits all the various suggestions, a Twitter user named Xavier Brochart recommended a well-documented solution to the problem. While user Glenn Fleischman shared, here's a step-by-step -step guide from Apple with a link that he can click and follow the instructions, there are a few possible ways to regain access, the best options are to restore from iTunes, go into recovery mode or device firmware update mode, or use iCloud to re Motely wipe the device, unfortunately all of the solutions involve starting over and losing some or all of the data on the device, this is why it's always a good idea to back up your devices on a regular basis. On Monday April 8, Osnos told the New York Daily News on an email that he was still locked out from his iPad it's down a few hundred minutes from yesterday but it looks like we still have 25 million minutes to go. They said, on Twitter people have suggested various fixes but the consensus seems to be that we're using an old operating system that won't let us restart fresh from iTunes, as stated on the Apple website, if users are not able to wait out of lock time they will need to remove their passcode and PE. Our form a restore using iTunes or other methods, however if you never backed up your device beforehand, the data will be irretrievably lost. Finally later on April 8, Osnos managed to restore his device using device firmware update mode asked from other Twitter users advice. Later even tweeted an update about his iPad saying, update on toddler iPad lockout got it into DFU mode don't hold down to sleep power button for too long or you end up in recovery now restore things to those who shared advice. 
thank goodness, kids will always be kids, we can't blame them because they are and always will be curious, it is still our responsibility to look after what they're doing, so to avoid a tech disaster like this one, don't ever leave your child alone with your devices, also make sure to always back up your data, thanks for watching everyone, be sure to tap on the next video for more hilarious stories.